Okay, good day learners. Uh, welcome back to part two of our algebraic expressions revision page. Okay, let's just get back straight to it. Okay, question number four. They want us here to convert between a common fraction, decimal fraction, and a percentage. Now, common fraction, as you can see, it's written like this here. You know what a fraction looks like. I'm sure you know what a fraction looks like, what a decimal fraction looks like, and a percentage. <clears throat> so, if we want to move from a common fraction or a decimal fraction to a percentage, let's just write this here out in our calculator. <clears throat> We've got 7 over 10 is equal to 7 over 10. <clears throat> if I press SD, I've got the decimal fraction. Same thing now. See, uh, let's see. If, let, let's see if we type in this one. See, we they gave us this and they wanted to get this. We uh, showed you how to get that. Now, if we've got a decimal fraction, if we need to go to a common fraction, <clears throat> 0 0.74 is equal to 3. Or in our, my previous video, I mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, you can write, you've got two zeros, so you're going to put down uh, over 7400, and there's 75. You can just say 74 over 100, and it'll get you the same answer. Now, <clears throat> to move from a common fraction to a decimal, uh, I mean, from a common or from a decimal to a percentage, you're just going to say times 100. Whatever you're going to get, like 0 0.7 is equal to so that times 100, 70 percent, right? <clears throat> or you could read it like this 0 0.7. This is 0 0.7. If you look at it, you've got 0 0.7 0. So, what you do is your first two digits here, it will be your percentage, right? See, this 0 0.74. See, if I type in 0 0.74, my first two digits here, first two digits here are 7, 4, 7, 4. Right? Are we okay on that? All right, let's go to something, yeah, something like this. So, what happens if we got 0 0.929? Then we're going to say 0 0.929. Now we've got our first two digits here. It should be 92, 9 times 100. 92,9%. Right now, if you have a percentage, let me move this one side. If you have a percentage and you want to move to decimal or <clears throat> common fraction, what you can do is you can say, 31 that's actually a percent button there we go Sh let me just pull this in the video you just said shift and this, <clears throat> this button here is equal to 31 over 100 there we go sd we got that All right and uh, yeah this you do the exact same thing for uh, all of that thing yeah Okay, number five. Now let's look at the uh, question. Simplify the following. Now, simplify. <clears throat> All right, let's look at A. Let's zoom into A. Let's have a look at A. Now, here, uh, is my. Yeah, so this two, <clears throat> the first thing. You need to see and from our previous lesson we said about the board mass we know that this here needs to go into my bracket let me just take it up <clears throat> so this two let's just let's just get in here so we can see clearly what we're going to be doing this two i hope we know that when we've got b cubed and our see the square is outside the bracket we need to multiply exponents meaning that we can have three times two this two will affect this three Let's see if I can put another there we go <clears throat> and this two will affect this two right how they do that 